was in Auschwitz concentration camp. My late mother was in Maidan concentration camp. Every single member of my family on both sides was exterminated. Both of my parents were in the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. And it's precisely and exactly because of the lessons my parents taught me and my two siblings that I will not be silent when Israel commits its crimes against the Palestinians. There are few things in political discourse as disgusting as claiming the modern state of Israel, which was in large founded by Holocaust survivors, is tantamount to Nazi Germany. There's an official term for this. It's known as Holocaust inversion. Unfortunately today, decency is often outmatched by the desire of people like Norman Finkelstein to push a narrative. So the only way to debunk it is by using logic. So let's do that. If Norman were in front of me, I would ask him a question. What was the reason the Nazis were persecuting your parents? The answer is simple. It was an ethnic and religious based genocide. There are stories of Nazis going to public schools with a card that shows the facial features of Jewish people and pulling kids out of the classroom and loading them onto trucks. This is terrible stuff. Now, what people like Norman want you to think is that Israel is acting in this same manner towards Palestinians or Arabs. If that's the case, why is it that when I was in Israel just a couple months ago, I was sitting in Ramat Gan in a kosher McDonald's eating a burger that was prepared by a young Arab man? Why is it that when I was at the beach in Tel Aviv, I walked by two proud Arab police officers who were speaking Arabic? Why is it that when I went to a museum in Jerusalem, Jerusalem, I learned about an Arab judge putting a previous Jewish Israeli president in jail. Did any Jewish judges ever send Nazis to jail? The reason is because the exact opposite of Norman's narrative is true. Israel does not discriminate based on ethnicity or religion. All of the clashes you see online of Israelis and Arabs are due to the fact that those Arabs are not Israeli, they are Palestinian Arabs. And this distinction is very important if you truly want to understand why we are in the mess that we're in. I wish I could ask Norman this. During the time that your parents were being persecuted by the Nazis, were the Jews of Germany in an active land dispute? with the German government? No, I didn't think so. Did all of the Jews of Germany get together and democratically vote in a radical organization that calls for the death of all Germans? No, no, I didn't think so. Did many German Jews hide weapons in their houses for radicals to come in and use to kill innocent Germans? No, I don't think they did. I think I painted the picture pretty clearly here. There is no parallel. But since we're on the topic of Palestinians and Nazis, I guess I'd ask Norman one more question. Have you ever heard of uh, the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem, Hamin al-Husseini? I'd be pretty interested to hear his take on that.